Hello YouTube friends, welcome to Maria's Miscellany where I have a few minutes to show you my progress to my um, Stash Buster junk journal that I started just a couple of days ago. Oh my goodness, I love how it's turning out. Um, I still have a few elements that I need to um, add to. Actually, I'm looking under my, <laughs> under this tab right here. Okay, so I wrote the a recipe here in this little cute card and uh, I've checked off everything I've used so far I'm almost done um, you know actually newest tool yeah that's the one I haven't checked and embossing so those are the two things I haven't done paper collection there's a couple of paper collection pieces that I included in here but I don't really have um, well I do I do have like some paper pads that I've received recently but of the paper collections that I had in my stash for a while I only have a few random pieces here and there so I went ahead and used what I could from there but I it's not like I used up the rest of a collection or anything like like, like that um, but anyway let me show you it's not gonna be a complete complete flip through I'm gonna go really fast because I want to do a complete flip through when I'm absolutely done but I just wanted to show you the cover first of all isn't that cute I, I really like it um, if you saw my last video update, this is just a piece of wallpaper sample that somehow it's attached to like cardstock. I didn't glue it to anything. It came like that. But it's so thick and sturdy that I thought it would be perfect for a cover and sure enough it is. So um, I didn't want it to be plain like this. The front was like that as well. So I found in my stash a collage paper that I had done. And I wish now that I had scanned it or, or maybe shared with you before finishing this, but that's okay. Um, I really love all the little papers that I had included in here. So I went ahead and added that as a base and then a couple of doilies. And then this came from one of those paper pad, paper collections that I'm, you know, using up. And then some little flowers that I had gotten in Happy Mail as well as some little cutoffs. I made a flower out of those little, you know, spiders that come in between the doilies. And then this is from my stash, also uh, from a gifted Happy Mail. It's a little acetate butterfly, see? Just kind of still has a little flying effect there. And I totally love how the cover came out. Now, I also glued it just on three sides, and I did put um, lace on this side so that this is a pocket. I don't have anything in here yet, but I thought it would be good to keep it as a pocket since this is such a sturdy piece of paper, um, you know, because of the collaging and stuff. I did do a five hole pamphlet that you can't even see it because it's next to the doily and it's done with like ivory um, embroidery floss. So, but I did do the five hole to make it nice and sturdy. And um, yeah, the other thing I wanted to show you was the inside. So I don't know if you saw my last, um, you know, last time I showed again, but I had the inside of the um, wallpaper sample was just this black cardboard and it had some writing here and I wanted to cover it up and I found this butterfly sticker. It's a wall sticker from the Dollar Tree that I had gotten in Happy Mail. I think Rosita tag gave it to me, but anyway, um, and I thought, oh, how cool. This will cover perfectly here on this side and then in the back, back pocket, of course it's a pocket so it's covering it, but is the other part and then you know i just bound the book in the middle so isn't that cool there's one side of the sticker the other side of the sticker because it comes in two pieces like that because when you put it on your wall you know you put it together but in the uh, packaging it comes in two pieces and then i didn't like the stitching um oh i gotta put some glue on there i didn't like the stitching that was left here it was lifting up some whiteness from the cardboard so i just put washi tape around it and i did reinforce it with glue looks like i have to put more glue in this piece but yeah i love how i did that you know the inside um covers there and then of course i found some these were some papers that i really liked that i didn't know what to do with so i thought they would be perfect just to have that little message here and then to have this as a little card here that I can use, you know, at another time. All right. So again, I don't have a lot of time. I'm going to flip and I'm going to share some of the elements here, but it's, um, I'm going to probably do another flip through later again. So I hope you don't mind. It's going to be kind of repeat. This is some calendar that I, you know, um, glued stickers. This is some stamping, little papers. These are stickers too. Lace. This is another calendar piece. 
and it's it's just got some note paper glued to it. This is some fabric and lace. I love this little pocket. These are some tags like on Happy Mail and a little sticker here. And I love all these laces on the edges. Here's a belly band. I don't have anything in here right now. Here's a card. Didn't do anything. That is one of those pockets that, that uh, dear Julie Julie likes to make. The, the double tucks with the envelope. Although I didn't like how the glue is coming through here. I might actually cover this with something. I was thinking maybe even like with something like that. Because this is so pretty. And this is pretty, but I just don't like those. I don't know if, you, if it comes through. Like the glue is coming through. For some reason, when I opened up my second uh, bottle of um, gl glitter glue, it came out really liquidy. And uh, yeah, so anyway... So I have that stuff there. So this I actually glued to this page because the other part of the envelope is on the other side. Here's a little um, paper clip I made. And, you know, some little pockets that was gifted to me. I just stuck it in there. I love these papers. I feel like I need to do more with that, but that's, that's all I got right now. And I hear my husband stomping around upstairs, so he'll probably be coming by. So let me just flip through really quiet. And like I said, if you have any questions, let me know because I'm going to do another fuller flip through when I am done. And that way I can answer some questions that you may have um, from this. Oh, look at this. You know, from this super quick. Just I'm definitely going to have to do more with this. And yeah, so really super simple. Just a lot of nice different pieces of papers. This is the other envelope. I glued this here. And belly band stenciling. Here's the other part of the card. I covered this part. I left this because I liked that. And this is my, my multi-band belly band there. And here's another lace. That's like a belly band slash pocket. And that's about it. Yep. So anyway, I just wanted to share with you my progress. Let me know if you have any questions, if there's something you want to see closer. Because like I said, I will do a more complete flip through when I am totally done. Let me stick this back here for now so I know what else I need to do. All right. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a very blessed day. Bye-bye.